Hello friends, welcome back to another episode here on the channel. I hope you're all doing great and for anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. In today's episode, yes, we are in Sword and Shield. Yes, it is the launch day of Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. Uh, but Game Freak have thrown us a bit of a curveball and provided us with content for Sword and Shield. So if you're wanting to take some time out in Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, or if you're waiting on those games, you've got the opportunity to take advantage of this event in Sword and Shield that we're going to cover in a minute and get yourself some really cool Pokemon in this brand new max raid event den first off as always we'll head over and check all the details of this event Go over to our trusty source at cerebi all the links will be down in the description below so you can see that this event is coined Eevee and friends event and it is running from today as of recording the 19th of november which is again coinciding with the brilliant diamond shining pearl release date and it's going to run until november the 28th here you can see this on your screen and this is a little bit different from our normal kind of uh, max raid events that we get in sword and shield now they only normally run for about three days but this is actually running for over a week so you've got a week from sunday to take advantage of this event and i'm guessing it's because game freak won't players to have the opportunity to take part in this event but are aware that they're launching it on the same weekend as brilliant diamond shannon pearl are releasing and a lot of players are probably going to be more involved with that so we did want to cover this event though make sure that you were aware of it because there's nothing worse than seeing an event come up and you miss it if it does end and you don't have that chance obviously if you're seeing this after the 20th of november sorry you have missed this but getting on to the details now it's a little different this den as you can see we normally have one star raids a bunch of them two star a bunch of them and three star a bunch of them so um this event is a little bit different now how the star system works for those of you who aren't aware uh, the stars in your raid den are dictated by how many gym badges you've got so you can still take part in this event if you've only got no gym badges or one gym badge but the more gym badges you have the higher star rating you're going to be have access to of these dens so if you've got all eight gym badges you're going to be able to access the five star raids and everything below that um but we're starting off with the one star raids this is in pokemon sword you're going to start off with eevee in those one star dens so that's all you're going to be getting no special items in this event normal items as you would normally get in these events nothing standing out then the two star raids you're going to move on to the eevee again it is going to be eevee exclusive in the one star two star and then the three star is where it changes you're going to have uh, eevee popping up a 12% spawn rate unlike the one and two star raids where it's going to be 100% of the time and nothing else will appear then the juice starts kind of coming through in that three star de uh, raid den where you're going to get Eevee, Vaporeon, Jolteon and Flareon with a 12% chance spawn rate of Eevee and then Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon with that 11% spawn rate all going to be on level 40 for that three star raid so we'll move on to the four star no, the three star raid continues. It is a bit complicated how this is working because it's it's a very different layout to normal. So the three star raids continuing on, you're going to have uh, alongside Jolteon, Vaporeon, Flareon, you're going to have Espeon, Umbreon, Leafeon, Glaceon and Sylveon. So you're going to have the entire bunch of evolutions in that th three star raid den uh, again no special items popping out kind of the standard items your tms that are relevant to the evolution uh, and then berries and dynamax candies and stuff like that then moving on to the four star raids you're going to have eevee again and then pretty much exactly the same as your three star raids but they're going to be appearing at level 50 rather than level 40 spawn rates look like they're staying the same with eevee vaporeon jolteon flareon espion and umbrian and leafian tagged on the end there uh, you are getting a few more items but nothing different from what you would normally be getting and then we'll move down to the juice and this is going to be a bit of a longer section here because we're starting off with the the uh finish off with the four star raids with the glacian sylvia in there then we'll move on to the five star raids with the first big bit of information and probably the one thing that you're going to be hunting more than anything over this weekend in this event and that is going to be the eevee which has a two percent spawn rate to always be a guaranteed square shiny so this is the square shiny of this event which is very cool because then you're going to have the option to evolve it into any of the any of the evolutions that you want and you're going to have multiple uh, chances to obtain this for over a week while this event is running again no special items appearing the only drawback with this is that two percent spawn rate but it's it's not bad it's not bad is it really and it is doable if you've got the patience to grind this out then the other five star raids you're going to have of vaporeon jolteon flareon 
And then you're going to have Espion, Umbrian, Leafeon, Glacian, Sylveon. And rounding off the, the event den for Pokemon Sword, it is going to be G-Max Eevee. It has a 5% spawn rate of appearing. So another kind of event exclusive Pokemon that you can't really get in game and it is only available through events it was a very uh, event at the very start of Pokemon Sword and Shield and now they're bringing it back again I believe they have done one event previous to this so if you haven't and you've missed out on getting GMAX Eevee in the past you're going to have the chance to get it in this event as well so that's pretty nice um, so that is for Pokemon Sword all the details there and yep yeah, you've guessed it everything is exactly the same for Pokemon Shield as well so it doesn't matter which copy of the game that you have uh, both Pokemon uh, both cartridges copies of the game are going to be exactly the same from one another so like I say the event is running from November the 19th today and it will be running for over a week until November the 28th so let's hop back into game and show you how you can access this event in the max raid event then once we're back in the game what you want to be doing is updating your wild area news first off in the game you want to hit mystery gifts and then click on get wild area news it will connect to the internet and then just update all of the dens in the entire wild area in the crown tundra and isle of armor so you can access this max raid event from any of the areas in pokemon sword and shield uh, you just need to make sure that you have a red beam and then when you spawn the den you need to spawn the den with a wishing piece that is the key to doing this method um and then once you check it you should see an eevee here so what you want to be doing as always if you are wanting to hunt for just solely that eevee or just get through different EVs and just find your favorite one. What you can do is come into the event den. You need to make sure that you're off the internet when you're doing this, just because you don't want to disrupt other players' games. So you want to hit invite others. You want to click into the den, hit invite others, and hit your home menu. We'll do this. We've done this a million times, but for anyone new coming to this video, you want to go down to system. You want to go to date and time. You want to make sure that your clock is off uh not synchronized via the internet come to your date skip it forward one day hit okay come back into the game and then you want to quit out of the den and this tricks the game into thinking that a day has passed and it will change the pokemon in the den to the next seed so you want to just click into the den again and you can see now we've got an umbrian so what we really want to be doing here is just cycling through the den until we hit that five star Eevee because that's the only star rating where we know that shiny is located and that is what we're kind of aiming for but I think unlike some other events where we've had the five star rating we've had a regular form and then we've had the shiny form of the exact same Pokemon it does appear in this event as though we have only got an Eevee a uh, shiny Eevee as a five star Pokemon in the in this event so the only Eevee that you're going to come across in the five star raids as I believe it from the information from Cerebi it looks as though it is going to be shiny every time but that is something that we'll try and confirm in this video so I'm just going to continue cycling through until I come across an Eevee and then we'll try this method out so you guys know uh, if you're trying this at home you're going to be able to do this or not and uh, whether or not the Eevee is going to be shiny every time that you encounter it. All right, friends, I've done a little bit of grinding and we are finally here. We have the five star Eevee. It took a little while. So if you are doing this, just have some patience before we do anything. When you come across the five star Eevee, just make sure that you do save your game, because if you mess up the raid or if you want to share it with friends or online, then you can do that. Uh, what we're going to do is just test it for the purposes of this recording and we'll throw eternity in just to be overpowered just to make sure um, we don't want to invite others and we're just going into this just to test to see that this is the shiny Eevee so if you've got time over this weekend I will be hosting this sharing it on my discord so the link is down in the description do come over and check and yes it is a shiny Eevee so you can see here anytime you do encounter that five star Eevee it will be shiny, I'm pretty much sure of it because it is so hard to come across and it's the only Eevee encounter I've had in over a hundred date skips. So there we go, this wraps up the video friends. I know it's a little bit different because it's Sword and Shield and it is the launch weekend of Brilliant Diamond Channel Pearl. If you have got the new games, hope you're enjoying them. Stay tuned to the channel because we have a bunch of content already planned out for the next coming week or so. Um, so do hit that subscribe button, drop the like button if you've enjoyed today's episode, and I'll see you all for another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.